What's up guys? Welcome back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Remember that one time I told you we were gonna make a pie out of some rhubarb? That's what we're gonna do. This is rhubarb. This big ass plant with these big ass leaves are rhubarb. I've already harvested a couple, but I wanted to show you in case some of you, for whatever reason, decide to grow some. But there's a certain way to harvest this and you don't just wanna cut it, and you don't just wanna break it. You wanna do it just right so that this plant will continue to grow and grow and grow each year. So what I like to do is I like to just grab the base, yeah, grab the base, and squeeze really hard. You just wanna kinda do a little twist. It's a little tough when you do it, but you wanna give it a nice little twist, and what it does is it kinda just pops off of the bulb. There's a bulb in there. So this is how you would pull it. And you don't want to eat these leaves or have these leaves. They actually contain a solic, say that three times, a solic acid. And if you eat a whole lot of this, you might die. Twist and pop up. Boom. You have harvest rhubarb. I could have just bought me a frozen pie crust, but you just keep circularly, keep turning it in a circle until you make a big, Circularly is the hardest word in the world to say. Is that even a real, is that even a real word though? Circularly. Circularly. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hardest part. Transferring the pie crust to the pie pan. Say a little prayer. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Come on, come on, Ooh, almost. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. We're gonna get about five cups of rhubarb. I had some old ass strawberries, so we're just gonna go ahead and add them to there. But why not? I wanna go ahead and cut off the ends. Why are you so good at that? So, we'll go ahead. I'm gonna add strawberries, add one cup of sugar, and, and another third. So, one and one third cup of sugar. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of lemon juice. About a tablespoon. So, once we get all this coated, we can put it in our pie crust. How do y'all feel about me feeding y'all roots all the time? <laughs> I am not a pie maker, so don't be judging my uh, design. But the whole key is to allow the rhubarb to vent, so you wanna have some kind of holes in it. But I'm just gonna put a little egg wash over the top so it looks nice and pretty. Boom! Now this is gonna go in the oven for 45 minutes, and then the boys will be the taste. The rhubarb pie is ready. Aaron is going to be the taste tester. You gonna eat this. And we wanna, whoa. We wanna serve it with some ice cream. You going for a second bite, so it must not be too bad. I'm on the Stop keto. crying, you're gonna eat it. I'm on the keto. You're not today. Cause he's not gonna give you a real, he's gonna. It's a regular pie. Are you kidding me? That's delicious. He's still eating it though. Cause all we feel is good. 